as last week's snow melts snow melts and runs down excuse me as last week's snow melts and runs down from the high country it is filling up the lakes i got it eventually yeah <laughs> it takes sometimes a while and now water is being released from the dams causing a lot of roadway flooding right here in the valley team 12's monica garcia shows us how powerful and unpredictable runoff water can be abundance of rain and snow this winter has nearby reservoirs filling to capacity. When the reservoirs reach capacity, there is nothing we can do but let the water go. And it's really important to note that these are relatively small releases, uh, despite the fact that it looks like a flood. Charlie Esther from Salt River Project says they're releasing around 5,000 cubic feet of water per second, about the equal of one to two swimming pools per second. This is very procedural. It happens uh, frequently. Uh, we just haven't seen it often in the last 20 years or so. The water starting at Horseshoe Dam, then working its way to Granite Reef, across roads and through Tempe Town Lake, out into the West Valley. You cannot perceive how deep it is, but it only takes a few inches of flowing water to be able to move and disable a vehicle. There are barriers in place to protect you from runoff, but it's important to be aware of your surroundings. The roadway most impacted, McKellips Road. It shut down in both directions between Alma School Road and the Loop Red Mountain, and it could be for days. Monica Garcia, 12 News. March has